So like, I was gonna say, uh, yeah, yeah, that like the dance, the the shooting of the dancing was bad enough, right? Yeah. But the worst offender, the war. This is everything wrong with K-pop right here. Mm. Everything wrong with this is the the concept, mm. the style. Whoever thought of their hair, whoever thought of their clothes, whoever thought to put all that shit together, like. You need to get fired. You need to get fired. And the problem is, is that like people, again, we are not their target demographic, right? Yes. But even though we're not their target demographic, like I can still be like, oh man, like EXO looks really good in this, mm -hmm. right? Or 2PM looks really great in this or BTS looks great in this, right? Like we don't have to be 12 year old yeah. girls, right? Yeah. We don't, we don't want to have to like be super attracted to these guys to know, to know what yeah. looks good and what doesn't look good. It, like Seventh Sense was already bad enough, and it yeah. looked like they were going even harder of mm -hmm. just awful haircuts, awful mismatch, like eight, half eighties, half like you know tangent. All right, I I always hate fashion shows, right? Because they're like high fashion shows, right? Because high fashion is like weird esoteric clothing for a lot for people who have a lot of time and money on their hands, right? Like, it's not clothes to wear normally, mm -hmm. right? They, these are clothes, like, I'm not talking about, like, like what the famous people wear, like, to the red carpet. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the crazy-ass high fashion where the mm -hmm. dude is wearing, like, a paper bag and, like, he's wearing, like, a like minion's bald, outfit. And, like, one of his eyebrows is shaved, right? Yeah. Like, or, like, it's a suit, but split down the middle yeah. and then one side is a dress and then one side is a yeah. suit. Or just... See, I have an opinion about those shows. It's because every year they have to have something new. And new and new right. and new and new. And so they every year they feel this pressure to kind of make something new that you never had seen before, right? Yeah. But and, since you're pushing, you know, them out so quickly, you're gonna either have duplicates or things that are just fucking weird. Right. right? And you're trying to get noticed more with other people and you go weirder and weirder and weirder. Exactly. Um now I feel like K pop is kind of going through a similar problem because there's so many groups that are coming out and you you want either want to differentiate them or they all look the same, right? Mm -hmm. And so SM's like, you know what? We're going to jump the gun and do this weird fucking, you know, high fashion shit. And that is the same problem I think uh, happens with high fashion mm -hmm. and modern art. Oh, I was actually just going to mention a, a modern art. Yeah. Like, like maybe, I'm, maybe I'm ghetto. Maybe I just <laughs> don't, you know, I'm just not classy. I'm just, you know. Oh, I'm, not, I'm definitely not classy, and like modern art is some of the dumbest shit ever. Yeah. No, no. The thing is, I get it. Like art can mean different things to different people, right? I personally think modern art is fucking dumb. I personally think that high fashion is dumb. Now, there is a certain point of high fashion. Like for example, GD. Mm -hmm. Okay, GD and uh, CL are really into high fashion, mm -hmm. right? And they wear some weird shit. And sometimes I think GD looks absolutely ridiculous, yeah. right? And sometimes I think CL it looks absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. But that still is nothing compared to it's like what is happening in this video. Mm -hmm. uh, because e even though they're wearing something weird, you know, GD looks normal, kind of like his hair is kind of normal yeah. and it's and trendy. We, and we nice. just we just think like, oh, he's just being extra K-pop. Yeah, like it's it's not something you would see an everyday man wear, yeah. but for K-pop. It it's okay, yeah, right. But this, this video, like, I hope they're so. This never happens. Again. Like, I when we were watching this music video, we were I was really tempted to just be like, all right, let's just write down everything wrong yeah. with these concepts. But I, but we have like seriously a whole, yeah, we were like a page full of good and bad things that we had to say about this music video, and we didn't really want to keep it too negative, but. Yeah, this this concept it's got to change. And the thing, I mean, you're like, you're. Pro I mean, you might be wondering why are we spending so much time talking about this? And mm -hmm. the only reason we're talking about this is because it's SM, right? Mm -hmm. If it was another random group, we would never, we wouldn't even mention this, right? Uh, but SM, I mean, what SM debuts like resonates, mm -hmm. right? Like when EXO came out, it it really upped the quality level. Of all the boy groups, mm -hmm. I think, mm -hmm. um, or that generation of yeah, boy groups. and it, it in, and they're not the only ones, right? Mm -hmm. Like you know, BTS. I think 
as opposed to EXO, BTS started the trend of the type of songs that all the people are, right? Yeah. But the level of dancing and the level of kind of like uh, overall skill, I think EXO really ramped it up uh, for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, and I just don't, I just don't know what this group is for, right? Yeah. Like they already have EXO who's decent at dancing. If these people are better at dancing, then you should shoot a video primarily about dancing, right? Not, right? Like, what, what are these people? Like, mm. are they better singers? No, because it's a lot of rapping. And are I, are they I better rappers? Maybe. Sort of. Maybe. And I have this fear that this is just SM's really kind of shady, underhanded way to, to feel out what members are going to be popular. And so they can just use those members. I, mean, I don't think that's shady. I think that's relatively smart. I, it's business. It's I like mean, business sense. But like saying like, oh, this is a group of you know, unlimited members, like how shitty does that feel if like you're one of these members, right? Like you could right. be in the group or you can, you know, disappear well, the next day. I don't think it's any less shady than the TV shows everybody has now. All right. Like I think this is SM in lieu of a TV show because SM doesn't have one. And mm -hmm. one of the only shows that doesn't have one, right? YG had theirs, mm -hmm. JYP has theirs, and random old groups have theirs, right? Like, I think instead of them having a TV show, this is their feeler way, mm. right? And I actually think it's better. I think that's actually better mm. than a TV show. Um, so I actually don't think it's that shady. Mm. Um, but, but I do think that, like, maybe it's just a, a change in times, right? When mm. we're used to SM only re releasing a, a new group once in a blue moon and mm. it being a big thing. Like we need to stop putting so much significance on the NCT stuff because it's yeah. just feeler stuff. Yeah, maybe. yeah. Like for me, it just gives me a bad feeling because it's just not transparent. And especially mm. with the K-pop industry, if something's not transparent, I always expect the worst. Mm. Because companies, they're really, really like money hungry. Yeah. They're really, really kind of like market share hungry. And so anytime that it's just something that's very ambiguous or vague, I kind of always just say, hey, yeah. that seems like it's not going to be great for the, you know, the trainees the, the or people. the the members, you know, the singers themselves. I mean, I think it's at least they get to be in music videos on a song rather than but, just suffer in pre-debut, you know. Yeah, but also the way they're shooting it is just like you don't really get face shots like SM really does and they're, the dancing is really... You yeah. know, really choppy and such. And like, I if you shown me a member who was like in every single NCT video, like, oh, this guy was in every NCT video, I would not know if he was or not. Because all those yeah, videos but are shot. I'm in sure a an way. NCT fan would know. Maybe, but they have done like the side research and all that stuff, right? And like pinpoint, oh, that guy's that guy. But like right. to the casual fan, casual K-pop fan, it's hard to pick him out, even more so than ever. Okay, I mean, I agree, sort of. I I just don't think that is... I don't think that is exacerbated by this. I think that's a problem for all Fair enough, fair enough. Like, for example, Kelvin, mm. my old co-host, he watches every AOA video because he loves Solhyun, as mm. do we all, right? As do we all. Praise, praise be to Solhyun. Yeah. Um, but I was like, oh, I mean, Solhyun's pretty, but I mean, also these other girls are really pretty, mm. right? And he's just like, are there are other girls in AOA? Like, mm -hmm. I don't recognize them. I don't know who they are. I, I all I know is Solhyun. And I'm like, dude, you've watched probably like eight, eight seven AOA videos, and you don't even know no a single other, other member. Yeah. And he's just like, no. And I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> like you, you do. You, you're probably right. Like, you like you. I can't tell you how many boy groups that I've probably seen ten of their music videos. Right. Like we just watched the Beast one, and I'm like, who I swear <laughs> to God, I've never seen this dude before. Like, who do, who He's yeah. crazy. Beast has a new member. Yeah. And I'm like, no, they actually lost him, right? But like even Beast, like I really only know that one dude because because that one dude is the most famous dude. Yeah, just because there's just so many idols. Yeah. That's just it. Yeah. But uh anyways, that is it for her, Char. For her. Um we are we do look forward to more crazy nonsense from yeah. SM. Um I really it seems awfully fast for another boy group. Um, so maybe, maybe they expect EXO to, oh, I really think EXO is transitioning to be one of those groups where it's like one song every year, mm -hmm. right? Because they have, they have, they don't need to anymore. Yeah, yeah, they don't need to anymore. So maybe they're, you know, they're, now they only have what, Red Velvet and I guess NCTU. So they, yeah. they needed something else because FX is probably gone this year. 
Um, who else does SM have? Super Junior? Super Junior. Girls Generation. Girls Generation? Again, Girls Generation. I mean, they released a lot of songs recently. Uh, well, no, no, they don't got no, no. just like no, no. purchase from her money tower yeah. and is like, one song? I'm not even in the music video and I don't have to dance? Neil. Sami. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, I think that'll be it for episode 95. Um, we There will be a 96. Um, but again, just to remind you guys, in August, yeah. uh, for about three weeks or two and a half weeks, we will both be gone. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there, we will try and rele- uh, record an extra after show before we leave. Yeah. But that does mean I need to edit it all together before we leave. And I'm not sure. Which is going to be a really tight squeeze. Um, right. But Josh is going to America. I'm going to Japan. Mm-hmm. Um, so we won't be here. So uh, we might not. Again, that's in August. Yeah. We're still going to be here next away. week. We're still going to be away. here for 96. But yeah. after that, it. You might not hear from us, but we just wanted to give you a heads up. You need to say anything? Uh, well, I mean, we'll be back after that. Don't worry. Oh, of course, that. yeah, of course. But... We're, we're, this is going to continue. Hopefully, back after Josh comes back from America, mm-hmm. he's going to be back with brand new mics. I'm going to figure that shit out. Yeah. Um, hopefully, I become really good at using that vloggy camera, yeah. and we can do something so, with that. Yeah. Um, and. Also, uh, we're hoping to shoot that extra podcast in August uh, if we reach our yes. Patreon goal. So, you know. Well, it would probably be September. I mean, we're going to be gone most of the Yeah, August, August September ish time. When we come back is what we're yeah. aiming for. But uh, once again, all we need is just like 26 more bucks to reach 300, which is the goal uh, on Patreon. Yes. Uh, if you don't want to donate on Patreon, you can donate obviously through PayPal or support us, obviously, by signing up for Audible. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Uh, you can contact us on Twitter at mm-hmm. This Week in K-Pop, at Twix Steven, at Twix Josh. Uh, actually, I think I checked your Twitter and the last thing you wrote was like 300 days ago or something. Really? I think so, dude. Yeah, because I'm not really active on Twitter. You're not active on anything. Yeah. Uh, that's not um, cacao. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, email us if you want If you want to send an email. Mm-hmm. I've been trying to like respond as quickly as i can or else because i'll forget if i don't mm. um so email us i got a nice email the other day and yeah that'll be it for episode 95 we'll see you guys next week for the after show which we have no idea what it's going to be about Bye.